Generation Z, also known as Gen Z, iGen, or Centennials. And this refers to the generation born between 1996 to 2010, following the Generation Y, or Millennials. This generation has been raised on the internet and social media. Kaya naman sila ay tinutukoy na first true digital natives. And based on Pew Research Center's analysis, ang Gen Z ang most diverse and most educated generation so far. At marami sa kanila ang tumutuloy sa kolehiyo kumpara sa ibang mga henerasyon. At marami din naman sa mga Gen Z ang mulat na sa mga social issues gaya ng gender identities, same-sex marriage, and even interracial marriages dahil nga lumaki sila na mayroon ng internet. Ano nga ba ang pag-iisip at pagkilos ng Generation Z? Aalamin natin yan kasama ang isang eksperto, an educational psychologist from UP Diliman, writer and author. Abangan ninyo si Grace o Dr. Grace Sanquan Ku sa What's Brewing. At makakwentuhan naman natin ng ating mga hosts ang Gen Z YPs. Ano nga ba ang life goals ng mga kabataang ito? Abangan niyo po yan sa ating Espresso Self. And of course, stay tuned for Legal Talk sa ating Barista Segment. Interesting po ang mga usapin natin ngayong araw na to, so don't change that channel. Ako po si Ressa Abante Yebra. At ako naman si Bishop Ruben Abante. Join us and let's have good talk over good coffee. Welcome to the Lighthouse Cafe. Cafe. Iba na talaga ang mga kabataan ngayon. Yan ang madalas sabihin ng mga nauna mga generasyon. Lalo na ng mga magulang na katulad namin, nakasulukuyan, nagpapalaki ng mga anak. Kasama ka ba ron, Reza? <laughs> Kada generasyon o generation ay may kanya-kanyang ugali at karakter. Kadalasan ito ay nagiging dahilan ng di pagkakaunawaan ng mga magulang at kanilang mga anak, ang mga kabataan ngayon. Totoo po yan, Bishop. Dati, mainit ang usapan ng mga millennials or Generation Y na tinatawag. Ang mga kabataan na nag-uumpisa noon sa kanilang mga career at bagong sa alilang sa workforce. Ngunit ngayon, ang mga millennials na ito ay nagkakaedad na nga at karamihan sa kalay nagsisimula na ng kanilang mga kanya-kanyang pamilya at naging mga magulang na rin. So ang sumunod sa kanila na generation ay tinatawag na Generation Z or Gen Z. At sila ang mga kikilalani natin ngayon. Napakagandang talakayin ito, no? lalo na, na ang kasama natin ay isang eksperto sa usaping ito. Ibig sabihin, mas nakakaunawa siya ng mga ganitong <laughs> klaseng generation. An educational psychology professor from UP and a seasoned speaker and author of numerous books. Welcome to Lighthouse Cafe, Dr. Gray Shankwan. Ooh. It's my honor to be here again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Suki ka na rito. Oh. Oh. Suki na po siya sa GCTV in general. <laughs> Dr. Grace has a show. At oh, show. yes. Correct, yeah. Oh, oh. Sunnybrook Smart Learning. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Generation Z. Parang ang hirap i-describe ng generation na ito. Ano mm -hmm. yeah. Man, I, ako believe ako sa'yo. You, you have this <laughs> kind of understanding. And you can relate to us. Oh, uh, <laughs> being a professor in UP for so many years, yes. uh, you, you uh, get in touch with uh, different generations. Because okay. I teach a PhDs uh, uh, and then a master's level and I used to teach undergrad too. So basically mm -hmm. all generations mm -hmm. po ay somehow naturuan yun. Can, yeah. You can actually understand the strata ng mga, <laughs> di ba? No? Iba-iba eh. Yeah. Iba-iba. Me, being a baby boomer, I even had the students who are baby boomers. So. Oh. <laughs> ano po ba ang difference, no? Like, a quick overview of ang baby the boomers, they came from after the... After the World mm, War II. Oh. So, kayo po yun. Ano yung pagkakasunod-sunod natin? Baby boomers. Uh, baby boomers, tapos X. Gen diba? X. And then no, uh, Y and then Gen Z. Y, and yeah. Z. Baby boomers, uh, at, at, at this time, should be already... They are bet, uh, you are asking about the differences uh, among mm. the students. Baby boomers did uh, write better, uh, read oh. better, yeah. oh, because they started with books. Uh, they didn't have uh, internet, right. mm -hmm. so they researched better as Lahat well. Lahat sila manual. Lahat tayo oh. manual. Very resourceful. <laughs> right. Manual typewriter. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah. Alam mo, yeah. yung mga sanay sa computer ngayon, hindi na exercise yung mga daliri nila. Eh. Tayo nung araw. Talaga. Matigas kasi yun. Uh, uh, Kabutan ko ba yung typewriter? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have to take uh, ako, notes, uh, note ako, cards. Ako, sekretary ng father ko noon. Eh. Kaya sanay ako ah. sa mga standard Remington typewriters. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Oh. Mas masipag po ba ang baby? Baby boomers uh, generation, would you yeah, say? Oh, yes, of yeah, course, right? of course. 
it, it was harder to write an essay yeah. because you can adjust uh, copy and paste. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there are not many information. You have to go to the library mm. and really take down notes. Yeah. Yeah. mga telepono natin ng araw, mga aparato malalaki. Yeah, yeah. Di uso yung kaya wala pang mobile. Because we did a communication mostly face to face, di ba? It's not uh, through the telephone. Right. So there's a personal uh, touch, di ba? I, I think yung yung generation natin eh very innovative. Mm -mm. <laughs> yung mga simple mga bagay. Yeah, diba? yeah. Resourceful because uh, Resourceful. we are deprived of uh, resources. Correct. Yeah, right, right. And hardworking, I would say, din po, no? Kasi walang easy way Kaya, to ba do it. Natin? <laughs> Baby ano, boomer. Ba natin, Gen, Gen X boomers. na. Gen X <laughs> na po. Oh, Gen X. Hindi masyadong entitled tayo. Oh. X, uh, the group of X, uh, so I have references. Uh, they are my nieces and nephews. Ano uh, because age group po yan? Uh, they are now in their 40s, 50s, di ba? Uh -oh, and uh, so on. But uh, they are very uh, hardworking too because uh, they have to work in multinationals. Yeah. So they have mm -hmm. a, a global competition. Right. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. And then the uh, Y, they are my children, uh, yeah, Generation Y, y <laughs> Millennials. Yeah. Why not? Why not? So even if uh, internet was available, not everybody was uh, had uh, access to it, yeah. right? So at least uh, starting, yeah, uh, starting. So they they learn how to read books as well uh -oh. as uh, the screen. Yung no. mga nagtetelepono, nagsimula ng telepono, pero pupunta ka pa sa bubong para makakuha oh. ng signal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The connection yeah. was not oh. as good as well and oh, slow. Yung internet so, natin noong oh. araw, yun. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, May slow. dial. Yeah. Pero yung Z, they are really the uh, yes. digital natives Native. na. Yeah. They, they were born with already uh, uh, the gadgets uh, right. available. Yeah. Mga teke na sila right. ngayon. Sabi nga po nila, actually, yung buffer age would be around 20 years old, yeah. the oldest. No. Correct. Gen. Yeah. So they are in the undergrad. So yesterday I just uh, spoke in the UP CSSP. That's a uh, uh, social, social sciences science. uh, oh God, uh, yeah. group. Uh, that was mm. uh, with the faculty uh, who yes. wanted to know how they can reach now the undergrad because mm. uh, some of them have been teaching for so long. You see, mm. so much of our syllabus had to change. Mm. The method of uh, teaching had to change now. Mm. Uh -oh. They like a uh, cafe type of. Uh, uh, so we, we can classroom. say we can say now na ang generation Z they're kind of leaning towards more the more convenient yeah, mga yeah. Bagay -bagay. Uh -huh. quick instant quick oh, oh. Yeah. Mga uh -oh. instant yeah oh. so so attention span is uh, less very na, short or short na because yes. uh, yeah so since the uh, UP has not changed the scheduling uh -huh. uh, you still need uh, to be in the class, class. Uh, three hours for the grad uh, level mm -hmm. it would be hard for some of them. Yeah. Oh. So at every now and then they would have to take a look at their smartphone. Oh, that's right, mm -hmm. right. So, are so dependent, so attached mm -hmm. to the yeah. smartphone. Uh -oh. How about your mindset, Tuila? Because you mentioned that baby uh -huh. boomers will be more hardworking and those things. As you uh -huh. go through the generations, I'm sure uh, mas nababawasan tama yeah. ba? How about for the gen? Uh, the the boomers are very loyal to their employers. Yes. Oh. Uh -oh. So not only just on the vacation, vocation, but the who is right. the employer mm -hmm. and then less now because uh, they, they could be uh, loyal to their uh, profession but mm -hmm. not to one employer na. so okay. we uh -oh. can we can uh, categorize them according sa mga iba't ibang qualities mm -hmm. no like uh, for example uh, sa pagiging resourceful mm -hmm. no iba-iba rin yung mga ano nila sa pagiging uh, fast Iba -iba rin, you know? Yes, yeah. Uh, oh. Gen Gen Y and Z are very innovative. Yes. Uh, yeah, but their mode uh, and medium is very different. Yeah. Uh, they are in the digital world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they know how to. Uh, how the, the games are mm -hmm. are very good. Uh, they are good with uh, creating uh, games, right? Uh, so it uh, enhances their creativity as well. Mm -hmm. okay. Except that uh, they are. Dip to, very dependent on the tools. Oh, without that, right. uh, yeah, it's hard for them to there's draw, uh, you know, freehand and so on. So it makes it behind, there's a lot of dependency Z on the yeah. so Generation oh. Z. Mm -hmm. Okay? Correct. Yeah. Now, the thing is, yung kanilang dependency, I, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, huh? Uh, yung kanilang dependency are leaning towards things na medyo temporal. Yung yeah. bang nag, na, na, naluluma ka agad. Like, for example, yeah. hawak nila, 
laptops and mga yeah. gadgets and everything. Because eh, two years lang yun, yeah. obsolete na. Yeah, they change their uh, iPhone uh, every year, yeah. <laughs> every other year. Right. Yeah, and because uh, each generation is becoming narrower and narrower, it used to be 25 years before we have another new generation. Right. These days, uh, it's 15, 15 years. years. Uh oh, every 15 years. Can, can we new. can we say na ang kanilang royalty is very short, no? short span? Yes, uh, no? commitment is very short. They they don't oh. like uh, commitment as well. So there are pros and cons on that. Yeah, of course, yeah. Mm. How about uh, some well, mga, it's uh -huh. not the family values, no? Family, community values. Mm -mm. Uh, How ano, different ano mga niyan? Yeah, There are many challenges, particularly for Christians, right? Uh, yeah. The, the uh -huh. sense of uh, morality, yeah, mm. identity, uh, about the uh, world views. Mm -hmm. uh, they have changed mm -hmm. not through the years. Uh, are, you, the, are you saying that made you lose the morals and generations? Yeah, of course. Yeah, pornography is very accessible, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they, oh. they, they are very... Uh, these days, they they don't want uh, monogamy. Oh, yeah. uh -oh. Okay. it's mo oh, okay. mostly uh, yeah, and people are delaying their dating and uh, marriage. Na. So morality changes. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Uh, not only some morality, but relationships also na yes, are affected. Yes, yeah, yeah, social relationships and so, also the family. Ng mga relationships mm -hmm. and everything. Family values yeah. are also affected. Uh -oh. yeah. And then okay. the identity confusion, because they built another identity on Online. their social media. So they, they want to show that they are very happy, they're fine, they're successful and pretty. Mm -hmm. So uh, not the <laughs> real. But in effect. such a situation, eh, mahihirapan din sila to find themselves. Na, yeah. Ano, accept, uh, yeah. Accept, right. Acceptance nila sa ano. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So the, it, uh, it, in psychology, because uh, identity crisis uh, mm -hmm. happens uh, at a certain age, right? Mm -hmm. uh, about 20, 25, and so on, or, or earlier for, Early. for Filipinos, because we go to college earlier, 18, and so on. They start to uh, find out what am, who am I, what am I good at, mm -hmm. uh, what is my future. Mm -hmm. Now, with all the uh, differences, uh, different uh, pictures that they see, they start to compare themselves with right. each other. Yes. Social comparison is really uh, Yo, yeah, right. bad. Yeah, oh, they, yeah. they, want, they always want to be the best, the, the richest, the Kapag most Kapag hindi na naabot yan, then depression yeah. comes. Depression. Uh, Kasi yeah. nga po na mas maraming suicidal uh, Correct. Yeah, depression and suicide sa uh -huh. Gen Z. Kaya mental health is a problem. Uh, in, uh, even in uh, our universities, there are cases of uh, suicides yes. uh, uh, just because of grades and so Just on. this first quarter <laughs> of the year, no? Maraming uh -oh. matayang cases. Kabataan no? as young as grade 9. Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. and then depression too. When, right. when, uh, when you compare with other people, you are, you are far behind yeah? and so on. So you have to keep on uh, uh, promoting yourself. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, it's harder to be happy with yourself. So, th uh -oh. this is the setting now, no? Mm -hmm. uh, how do we help parents then? What do we tell parents? Yeah. Uh, there's, there's, there should be more equipping for parents, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. First of all, uh, you know, we have to know how the youth are spending their time. Where? Where, Where are, are they internet? spending their time? Yeah. Because with the internet, uh, time displacement, they don't have time for their parents or even for their neighbors or uh, for face-to-face -face, uh, contact. Mm -hmm. na, mm -hmm. So I think the, uh, the first thing the parents should do is to control, to help the uh, student, children uh, develop self-control, self-discipline in the use of internet. That mm -hmm. the internet control. is the root of all many problems <laughs> uh -oh, it's a tool uh -oh, but where you go and how what you select for your entertainment uh, is moderate uh, uh, more mm -mm. if not control yeah right moderating yeah uh -oh. monitoring maybe yeah. monitoring, more self-discipline yes. self-control uh -oh. yeah. but uh, the problem is even parents uh, are, <laughs> are addicted to <laughs> eh. siyempre kung ang magulang eh, ano. mm -mm. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So, so they, the, they are not good model for their children as well, di ba? Uh -oh. they, mm -hmm. they spend so much, you know, Philippines is the highest uh, in social yes. media use. Uh -huh. Ano nga, ano nga, Facebook, ano, ano, uh, ano nga ang time na they spend ng typical Filipino? I think around 8 to 10 hours every yeah. day. Every day, that's all, Facebook, that's one media. more job. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Oh, right. Just, yeah? yeah, 24 by 7. So, uh, <laughs> kung hindi equipped, ang mga mm -hmm. parents into dealing sa kanilang mga anak. Mm -hmm. uh, ano pang pwedeng asahan nila sa community, sa society? Yeah, Kasi, you know, I believe, lot, I believe yeah. in a community na nagtutulungan. Mm -hmm. you know? Kaya ang church setting, man, napakahalaga eh. Mm -hmm. right. You know, lalo na 
you are able to express yourselves to mm-hmm. brothers community. and sisters in Christ. Dapat community. Dapat may fellowship. Yan na, mm-hmm. uh, community. So these days, uh, it's hard for uh, uh, parents to be talking with their children without their cell phones, di ba? Or a smartphone. Now, why, why is it that the children are not uh, finding it uh, fun or uh, useful to have a talk with parents? Because they feel that parents are always preaching to them and, uh, and so on. They cannot be uh, egalitarian or equal in their sharing and uh, mm-hmm. their position. So I think uh, if parents can spend more time with their children mm-hmm. and develop a, a, a better relationship, uh, more time for bonding and so on, more uh, sharing of common experiences, mm-hmm. then the parents would be good company yes. uh, rather than people from the social uh, media or... Uh, yeah. Another uh, problem that uh, Japan had uh, encountered uh, so much these days is uh, the hikikomori. Mm-hmm. These are the, uh, uh, the, the guys who just uh, stay home for three years, uh, seven years without coming out. Hmm? They yeah they don't want to uh, have a family or be married and yeah. so on. All their time is spent on the internet, oh. and it, it has become a serious uh, mental health problem. Oh it is uh, yeah in uh, yeah. So they, they rarely go out. Talagang online almost lang none. Oh oh, they have to uh, ask the psychiatrist to come mm. and visit them. Lahat virtual. So, oh, virtual. walang person-to-person na yeah. relationship and everything. Correct, yeah. Even oh, the relationship <laughs> is virtual relationship. <laughs> virtual relationship Uh-oh. na lang. Identity is uh, virtual. Mm. These days, uh, uh, they meet people eh, syempre, virtually. Kapag virtual, yeah. puro packaging lang yan, puro mm, cosmetics true, lang true. yan. So, uh, it's it's hard to see really look what into real. what's yeah. inside. Yeah. Yeah. And and they attend, uh, uh, they attend concerts where in the singer is not a person. A virtual it's a virtual uh, a person and they paid uh, uh, so much money and with uh, such a great uh, big uh, huge uh, crowd watching something that is not real virtual reality para the greater challenge is how to be parents than to <laughs> yeah. no it's it's harder to be parents these days uh, yeah, that's true kina yeah. kailangan mag offer ka na ng course parenting the gen z yeah yeah i think that is very important Mm-hmm. And uh, in church, uh, many of them uh, had problem of uh, having, you know, because m- most churches uh, have an average age of 65 you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> and so on. So there are less and less uh, young, young people. youngsters mm-hmm. attending church and mm-hmm. so on. Uh, in the States, I think they only had uh, 3%, yeah. right? the Gen Z in, in, the, ano, in the church. So what can we do with churches and ministries to reach these Gen Z? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, many churches uh, go into uh, mm-hmm. online, but I would not encourage that. Church is coming yes. together, you know, a exactly. life together. Exactly, I like what you yes. said. Yes. Church is always yeah. coming together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, we mm-hmm. have to come and it's together just, and it's, face it's to not face. just attending. Mm-hmm. Right, right. When you come together, there's relational aspect yeah, there. There's fellowship. There's yeah. fellowship. Uh-huh. Ministries, Talagang involvement. There's ministry, right. there's involvement, yeah. there's service. A touch. You cannot touch a person on the online. Yeah. Oh, so right. uh, uh, we only use the visual. Tapos kano yeah. placate pa ng ano COVID COVID nineteen <laughs> na hindi ka na pwede makapagkamay <laughs> na oh. That's right. Yeah. So I, I think the church uh, should uh, learn about the characteristic the characteristics of these uh, generations mm-hmm. and know how to uh, reach out to them. Yeah, the youth uh, director is a very important person in the church. How to to, to get more youth uh, participate mm-hmm. in more uh, meaningful community work. Yeah. So what else? Um, how how do you do an entrance sa isang Gen Z na na kabataan, kabataan mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. who is so close and he, yeah. he's just by himself or yeah. herself. Yeah, yeah. How, so yeah. how, how do you enter his you world? You know, uh, even apologetics has to change. <laughs> yeah, uh, It used to be, you know, do you, uh, do you believe it, uh, that God uh-huh. exists and so yeah, on, yeah. Uh, that kind of... You know, uh, the uh, problem with uh, many churches is that uh, uh, we we uh, kind of uh, isolate or alienate mm. uh, the young people into uh, the planning or the in, uh, starting of uh, projects and so on. Mm-hmm. I, I think uh, they are looking for something meaningful because these days, most of the uh, kids would say they are nuns, nuns, no religion. Mm. Yeah, correct. Yeah, it, it, it's a whole generation of nuns. 
-hmm. So if uh, if they feel that the there, there's no need for any religion, many of them are atheistic, in fact, then uh, how can the church even uh, bring them to church, right? So we, we have to reach out to the parents, and hopefully the parents, uh, each uh, family, would uh, be able to uh, touch their children. So it should be, number one, parents have to be proactive. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Hindi sila they distanced. To, yeah. Hindi sila, Rather ano, detached, no? Detached, or, no? Or we have to get involved. Oh. Oh. Hindi sila reactive lang. Kasi alam yeah. mo, may mga magulang na they, they just they only attend to ch children pag may problema. Pag may problema. <laughs> so, yung meron nga po, ganun mga virtual Tapos, parenting and, and din, diba? And kids mo, so, wala akong problema. <laughs> like, yeah, even yung mga OFWs, diba? They call it virtual parenting, diba? Yeah, they yeah, watch yeah. 24, may mga CCTV, yeah, oh, they, they see how the yeah. kids are doing. Mm -hmm. Pero technically, wala talaga ang presence. Wala, wala. I, I don't think, a hug. You can yes. talk a, 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 your baby uh, mm -hmm. on the internet. Or, so, be very personal, going back to the topic, yeah. ano ang... Ano ang entry point? Mm -hmm. Ang entry point. Ibig sabihin mm -hmm. eh, uh, if you waited until your child no is grown up, it's too late. Too late. Too late. Just even before a, a child starts to use the uh, gadget. No, mm -hmm. I, I saw this uh, documentary. A child was given a magazine, and all, all she was doing was oh. uh, scrolling. She didn't even know how to turn. The oh magazine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's not seen a magazine uh, that is uh, turning, uh, uh, you have to turn oh. the pages. So they are born with already uh, uh, being native. They speak the language. They are very quick with all this. Yeah, parents, before even a child starts to use the uh, smartphone and, and the internet, has to prepare uh, themselves with all these monitoring apps as well. Uh, yeah. So but, maganda pa lang entry point sa mga parents. Parents, learn. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, you, you continue mm. to study. Mm -hmm. No. Para makarelate din naman Para maka sila Yeah. Yeah. No. But uh, we we should uh, maintain some authority. Parents yes. have authority. This so authority. Uh, parents, uh, well, yung bang wag nating sasabihin na matanda na ako diyan, hindi ko uh -oh. na kaya yan, ganyan. Authority in the sense now we have certain expectations. Right. Okay. You you have to still uh, learn how to obey uh, the parents. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh oh, these days uh, parents are afraid of their kids <laughs> more than the kids are uh, being uh, you know uh, obedient to their parents. So uh, being parents, we have to learn how what is our authority, what is given us. The ironic uh, thing, a lot them. of people know how to train dogs. <laughs> they never know how to train. Children. <laughs> Pero I don't think hindi naman po kailangan extreme, no? Like, lahat bawal. Di ba? Kasi I also heard yeah, yeah. of like yeah. parents na talagang at a certain age, mm -hmm. bawal lang tayo. Kasi bawal ano eh, da dapat positibo ang approach. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But even American Pediatric, uh, Pediatrician Association, Pediatric Association, had uh, warned that children should not, uh, below two should, should not, not be yeah. watching even television. Mm -hmm. Because the medium is the message. It will rewire Correct. your brain. Mm -hmm. So all these things, so uh, at, there are scientific findings of, of the harm and uh, both the benefits and the harm, of course, of uh, mm -hmm. internet. But parents are uh, are sometimes uh, uh, too uh, indulgent yeah. of their kids. Uh -oh. If they want this, they give. They, they don't have a. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, they don't make uh, good right. decisions. So yeah, they, well, we should be parents should continue to learn and. Uh, they should not be stiff. Yes. Na para bang it's just a packaging to be a parent. Mm -hmm. right. Sometimes they should be out of the box sa kanilang mga approaches. Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But there should be firmness. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Firm. Uh -oh. Firm parenting is very important. Okay. No, Dahil in, in the bago, church. Yeah. Bago-bago ka ng ano mo. Una, hindi. Tapos. Eh, oh. <laughs> Nagula din yung anak mo. Ayan, hindi. <laughs> tapos, <laughs> oh, 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 tapos wala na. Yeah. Inconsistency is, yeah. The, uh, is Correct. a really uh, bad uh, kind of discipline. Mm -hmm. Now, the mm -hmm. church should provide something that children cannot get from otherwise from the internet. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. it, the spirituality of it, uh, of uh, providing spiritual care, something that uh, the internet uh, that they cannot find. If we are trying to imitate the world, yeah, they are in the world but not of the world. So how Correct. do we make it uh, such that here in this church, mm -hmm. you will get something that you'll not get anywhere yeah. else? Right. Yeah, the word of God is very important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, because uh, uh, children who have uh, access you know, to the kinds of yeah. <coughs> do mm -hmm. not be afraid to be in the midst of wolves. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> because the Bible mm -hmm. says we should be sheep in the midst in of the wolves. Midst wolves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we need to learn how to be in to the be, midst yeah. rather right. than yeah. being detached. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Kaya lalo nagkakaroon ng distance eh, ng masyadong yeah, there, yeah. Detached, generation eh. gap. Mm-hmm. Generation Uh-oh. gap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, alam mo, ang ikli ng oras natin. <laughs> But th- yeah. this, this talk has been very, ano, para, yeah. para din sa yes. amin, ano? There should be And more forum. Sa, yeah, and, yeah. Oh. Kasi, okay, we're, we're raising an alpha generation, generation at an already. alpha kid. Na, so, talagang, uh-huh. digi- di lang digital native, eh, pero they grew uh-huh. up talaga uh-huh. na. But you know that that generation Z is returning now to some uh, more soft skills. They oh. want people... Uh, relationship. They mm-hmm. want uh, to go into psychology, oh, social uh, entrepreneurship. Na rin sila sa oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. they learn from the uh, the Y. Now the Z is coming mm-hmm. uh, 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 closer now to to the. X. If if I would be giving advice to generations, I would say this: uh, Do not depend on things that easily fade. Yeah. You know that mm-hmm. that easily. Yung bang naluluma, na, uh-huh. you know. Kaya nga, we need to be dependent on God who is immutable, who yeah. does not yeah, change, who change. remains. And the word of God is eternal. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh-huh. Siguro, uh, Miss Grace can also give a short message to the viewers, especially the Gen Z or maybe uh-huh. the parents. Of Gen oh, Z. I wish uh, parents uh, should uh, be talking more with their children. Mm. Oh. If the parents are doing social media all the time, yeah, and no, because just the time, uh, life is made up of time, and what you have is time, no? Parents are not good models of their children in using of their time and doing something more meaningful. They lose, uh, you know, very quickly the children will uh, move away already, and they have uh, developed uh, more uh, uh, pleasant relationships with other peers and they they are started uh, to be influenced by the peers rather than parents parents are still the the greatest right. influencers uh, of their uh, influencer this day is someone who would uh, uh, advise you to buy this and buy that mm-hmm. but the parents are the be- best and the uh, strongest influencers the value Good. formation yeah. oh ibig sabihin wat mo wag mong i outsource ang pagdidikit oh, okay. <laughs> Well, Grace, uh, thank uh, you, thank uh, you so much. Uh, uh, you you need to come back and we <laughs> let's talk more of this. Uh, yeah. say, you know, it's it's a, uh-uh. it's an evil world out there. Uh-uh. You know. Yeah, it's well, a me, yeah. Yes. Well, eh, now let's talk to Gen Z teens. No, at alam natin na uh, ang kanilang mga sasabihin kung paano sila mauunawaan, and that will come sa ating espresso self. Don't you go away. Mga usaping in, mga paksang trending. Mga talakayang may kabuluhan. Lifestyle at kultura ang sariling atin. Buhay Pinoy, pag-usapan natin dito sa... Espresso Cell! Ang magkakaibang generations ay may tinatawag na certain behavioral markers. Tulad na lamang ng mga uh, baby boomers. Yan yung mga mahilig at sanay sa hard work. Yung mga millennials naman, tulad natin ng internet. Yan yung mga mahilig mag-travel at sabi nila, we invented the perfect Instagram post. Uh, ano mo sasabi mo dyan? Millennial ka ba, Gabby? Oo, oh, nagsisimula pa lang tayo, <laughs> binabash mo na ako. Of course, pasok pa ako dyan. So. <laughs> De, pero uh, agree ako dyan actually, yan yung mga travel, ganyan, yung work-life balance, mm. diba? yung mga hashtag, ganyan, travelgram, ganyan. Pero sig- I think isa pa sa mga katangian ng mga millennials, gayan natin, yes. ay I think yung pagiging passion-driven, mm-hmm. yung, yung jobs na ang uh, sinisik ay more than practicality. Kasi yun yung nakagisnan siguro nung mga before, mga generations before, ay kung ano na talaga yung parang gusto ng, yes. ng yun, passion or um, dinedirect ng puso. Ayan. Ay, mm, medyo maaga pa. Ano yun, tayo sa usapang yan. <laughs> Ayan. Na, pero at sa ngayon naman, na sumisikit na ang term na generation C. Generation Z, mm-hmm. uh, sabi nga sa nabasa ko, Gabi, ang mga Gen Z daw ay generally accepted na pinanganak between the years 1997 to 2012. So, kasama ba dyan ang anak ninyo? Yes. Yes? Oh, ah, sakto-sakto. Oh, 2012. So, pasok yes. siya. Kaya pinanganak namin siyang Z. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi Gen Z siya. Yeah. Okay, uh, ayan. Napakagaling. Uh, so, according to research, Gabby, ayan nga, one of their Hallmark behaviors is the avid use of mobile devices. Pero unlike millennials who seek adventure outside these devices, ang Gen Z daw ay mas gugustuhin na sa bahay lang. So, t- ab- abangan-abangan mo na si Zef kung mm. magiging totoo nga sa kanya to. Tama yan. Medyo nakaka-relate ako dyan. And 
putting it into a Christian context, paano nga ba ang buhay ng isang Christian yes. ng Gen Z? And what better way to get to know someone than by talking to them, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, kaya meron tayong mga in-invite na mga uh, Christian Gen Z uh, people with us today. Kasama yes. natin ngayon si Darwin, yes. si CJ, si Edelweiss, at si Ruben. Yay! Welcome! Nakasabit pa si Ruben. <laughs> Hi guys! Oh. Hello po. Kaya. Kaya. Para medyo tumanda tayo bigla, no? Oo, oh, sa totoo lang. Oh, so kids, magkakaroon tayo ngayon <laughs> ng play, okay? <laughs> Pero speaking of Gen Z, um, Antoinette, meron ka bang uh, talagang uh, tanong for them? Ano ba pinagkakabalahan ng mga Gen Z ngayon? Oh, pero siguro before oh. that, no, pwede natin silang hayaan na mag-introduce muna correct, correct, ng kanilang correct. mga sarili. Tell us anything about yourself, probably siguro yung school or kung col- college na kayo, of course. Oh. Yan, so Darwin. <laughs> okay. So ako po ay 20 years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, second year po sa UP Diliman BS Civil Engineering. Mm-hmm. Um, Scholar and Lion, no? <laughs> ako po si CJ Delgado, um, 15 years old, grade 10 po nag-aara sa St. Clair School. Tapos ako naman po si Edelweiss Bidahanay, tapos grade 12 po ako sa University of Makati. Mm-hmm. Wow. Ako naman po si Ruben, um 19 years old, mm-hmm. UP di rin po, um, non-major. Mm-hmm. Basta lang may sikita na major. Kasi kung ano naman yung course. Uh, eh. Kasi may bata ka mag-shift. For shifting. For shifting. Oh. Ah. Ayan. Ay, may maganda namang uh, na, non-major ng mga courses. Anyway, ibang usapan nyo. <laughs> Maraming pa na tayong mga scholar. Tsaka si Edelweiss, parang uh, laking DGC. Parang... <laughs> 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 Ganyan yung vibes niya eh. Oh. <laughs> uh, ano ang pinagkakabalahan ng mga Gen Z ngayon? Oh, anong usually na ginagawa niya hmm. siguro? Ayan. Go it, Edel! Ay, po, so <laughs> Bukod siya magpa-interview sa... <laughs> sa mga tito at tita. Uh, Yan po, yung mga ginagawa po ng mga Gen Z ngayon, mostly po, nakatutok po kami sa mga mobile devices po namin. Mm. Tapos yun po is either sa mga social media, mm. sa Facebook po, YouTube, mga ganyan po. Mm. So, amin na doon naman kayo doon sa description kanina na mukhang talagang mobile device mm. yung isa. Apo. Oh, Sab- sabi nyo oh. na katutok, yun expect ko para mga newscaster to na ano, nag-update. <laughs> Pero ginagawa niyo pag naka-mobile, na, pag naka-always on nga kayo, sabi nga nila. Ano ginagawa niyo sa mobile? Usually, um, mm. for communication and syempre kapag, uh, kasi benefit na rin yung technology sa amin dahil mm-hmm. pwede na rin na- namin gamitin sa research namin mm-hmm. for school, di ba? And also entertainment purposes din. Wow. Mm-hmm. I think kaya din yun, no? ang dami ng mga apps na naglalabasan mm-hmm. na yan, meron kang uh, streaming ng movies, mm-hmm. ng mga series, yan, mm-hmm. sino dito mga uh, K-drama, ayan, <laughs> inaabot <laughs> na anong oras? Four. <laughs> wow, four. 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 Dahil nga doon, mm-hmm. dahil doon sa market na yon na talagang halos 24 by 7 ay merong nag access ng ganong um, mm-hmm. services. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about so- social media? Kasi mm-hmm. hindi ko na-mention yung mga Facebook, nag-gagano naman kayo. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Tsaka narinig ko, Antoinette, may mga yung, itong generation na to, may mga secret yan, may mga secret files. Kwete niyo sa akin, may mga secret files. <laughs> So yun po, yung mga secret files po, dun po linalabas ng mga tao yung mga rants po nila or yung mga may mga gusto po silang iparinig, mga ganun po. Yung mga nandun po sa loob ng secret files. Mm-hmm. San, anong secret files? Ano to? Secret parang, <laughs> Sorry. Ano na Pero saan siya? Ano siya? Parang folder sa, na nakatabi lang sa phone or parang ganyan? Or... Facebook. Page, ah, page. Facebook page. Ah, ginamit, ginamit na for siguring word files. Oh, oh. Mm. Ah, Pero hindi na po kasi uso ngayon yung secret files. Mm. Freedom well na po yung uso. Mm. Freedom well na. Ah, so oh, nag-shift oh. naman ngayon. I think sa generation ko yung secret files. So ngayon, freedom wall na. Oh, oh. Oh. Na parang anonymous. Oh, oh. Oh. Nang bawat universities po. Tsaka, alam ko, nakalimutan ko lang yung term. Eh. Parang sinasabi nila, yung Gen Z daw, may second account sa IG or, or Facebook. Talaga. Parang yun yung ginagamit niya na, yung, kasi sa IG, IG oh, parang public, tapos sa dami mong followers, di ba? Like, like ako, oh, here din yun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, meron ako yung mga for closer, ano ka lang, mm-hmm. uh, circle. Ko. Ano to, yung mga mas intimate yes, na uh, posts mo? Uh-huh. K- kayo ba? May ganun kayo? Parang ang tawag po nila dun, dump account <laughs> sa IG. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Parang dun po na dinadump yeah. lahat ng mga pictures na hindi masyadong aesthetic or yes, naka- correct, nakakahiya. Correct. Gusto nang uh, ipalabas. Mm. Pero for relatives lang or for close, for close friends. friends. Oh. For close friends. Yes. Ah. So sa tingin niyo, bakit um, mas 
kung baga, in terms of um, spending your time, mm-hmm. mas uh, mas gusto nyo or mas gusto ng Gen Z na talagang sa sarili lang na mm-hmm. yun. Kasi syempre, pag, pag, diba, pag mobile, syempre, you're, you're in your own bubble. So, tingin nyo, bakit, bak, bakit kaya ganun? Ano bang yun? <laughs> Bilang po. Ganun ba kayo? In terms oh. of ano, uh, medyo mas... Kasi ang ina na ano ko, medyo <coughs> mas may smaller groups lang talaga kayo. Mas tahimik kayo, mas uh, clicky. Paano nyo de-describe yung, ano, yung dynamics na yun? Para sa akin po, dahil sa uh, ba- mga bagong technology na meron po tayo, parang mas nagiging... Hindi na kailangan ng face-to-face masyado na communication. Parang mm. pwede na tayong makipag-communicate through our mobile phones. Mm. So, parang hindi na natin kailangan lumabas ng bahay, pwedeng magstay na tayo sa kwarto natin. Pero hindi naman ibig sabihin na, na hindi na tayo close oh. sa mga kaibigan natin. Parang more on close tayo pero through through Facebook mga social media accounts mm. natin. Mm. Oh, kasi I think ang usual na iniisip ng mga tao, especially yung older generations, ay kapag hindi face to face, hindi kayo close, parang ano ka, parang closed off ka sa mga tao. Pero for you guys sa generation niyo, you do you consider it as ano pa din, parang communication na the same lang, walang kaibahan 'yun. Ah. Curious lang ako no, um Antonet din no. Um kasi Gen Z kayo, sabi niya, di ba? How, how would you differentiate yourself sa ibang sa mga millennials, for, for instance? Ano yung pagkakaiba ninyo? Ba- based sa <laughs> opinion niyo lang. Oh, uh, yun tingin po namin, parang sa amin po mga Gen Z, mas ano po, mas short po yung attention span po namin <laughs> kaysa po sa mga millennials. <laughs> 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 yun po, yun po yung parang isa po so, sa mga, mga difference po oh. namin. Ah, kasi it makes sense kasi especially social uh, mobile phone diba like sin fixi tapos pag nakita mo ay yung mga ads parang one se- oh, five second ano lang eh 6 seconds five seconds yeah. parang pabilisan ng pabilisan so fixi na lang talaga pag si yung uh, attention span meron ako rin kasi tayo dito pinag-isipan natin eh oh, okay. so, uh, para mas makilala pa natin ang generation mm. nila ayan meron tayong pag game may pag game si Tito uh, Gabi bubunot lang kayo may uh, equivalent na cash prize wow sabaw <laughs> <So, laughs> <so, laughs> Sige. Ang gawin nyo lang, bubunot lang, tapos sa answer nyo yung question, truthfully. Okay? So, ano, uh, kung sa millennials, real talk, ito, uh, freedom wall, okay? <laughs> Secret files. Secret files. <laughs> okay, sino mo una? Ayan, kahit sino. <laughs> okay, sige. <laughs> Kita mo naman, nag-recycle tayo ng paper, ah. Uh-uh. Ano ang pastime mo? <laughs> But, um, yung past time ko po kasi, siguro pag wala akong ginagawa, mahilig kasi talaga akong maglakad talaga. Ewan ko kung, kung nasa Gen Z ba ako, kasi hindi ako pala stay sa bahay. Mm. More on outsider talaga ako eh. And more on lakad talaga. Mm. Na parang hindi ko maatim na nag stay lang ako sa bahay. Gusto ko lagi ako nasa labas. Mm. Gusto kong sociable ako. Pero may pagkakataon din na mas gugustuhin ko na sa bahay na lang kaharap yung phone or yung netbook may ano doon mga k-dramas ayan ayun yung mga uh, pep mga yes <laughs> pep talk eh wow po basta nagbabasa ako sa pep okay. super update din sa mga books kiss me hindi kasi ayun okay sige let's leave that it's updated si ano Ruben pass pass oh tama na muna si Ruben next sige go it ay ang naka, na, nakantabay ang buong grupo. <laughs> Ay, so, saan mo hilig tumambay? So, yun po, kasi po, yung lugar po namin, dun po sa Mahati, medyo malapit po siya sa Tagig. Tapos, as in, isang jeep lang po, nasa BGC na po. Wow. Kaya po wow. yun. Wow. Kaya, dun po kami hilig tumambay. Dun po kami mahilig tumambay po. Pero, nag-window shopping lang po. Uh-huh. <laughs> po. Kasi ako, napapadala ako sa BGC pag sa safe looks, pag may mga sakit na isi uh-huh. katawang pa. Pero, ito, sige. Okay! <laughs> window shopping naman window daw. Shopping. Sa matipid pa din. Uh-huh. <laughs> Gen Z daw ang maraming cases ng depression and suicide. Mm-hmm. Totoo ba? Serious Bakit talk, kaya? Uh, well, um, actually, sakto. Kasi naging lesson namin to kanina lang sa school. And um, kasi yung depression and suicide, kaya siya siguro um, laganap dahil sa mga maraming kaganapan. Kasi since ngayon, di ba, technology uso na rin and mas lumalaganap. So, nagiging ano na rin yung um, cyberbullying. Siyempre, nakaka-affect na rin kasi sa feelings ng tao. Especially ngayon, kasi um, para sa akin, yung generation ngayon is ano, um, sensitive na sila. 
parang to the point na kahit small things na affect sila, parang napapansin agad nila yung mga smallest details. So parang nagkakaroon sila ng um, overthinking ganun. Mm. Tapos, syempre, um, may, siguro may times na na feel nila na wala silang makausap ganun. Mm. So parang ina-isolate lang nila yung sarili nila. And I think sobrang laki ng effect nito sa buhay ng isang Gen Z. Mm. Uh, Ang miss universe. <laughs> <laughs> miss universe? <laughs> Teka lang, bago ako sumagod na rin, pag-usapan na natin sa sandali. Kasi napaka-relevant uh, na topic oh, yun eh, na pinag-usapan. Kayo mismo, pa- paano kayo nag-cope pag ganyong mga, sa ganyong circumstances? Oh. Um, for me, kasi usually kapag may times na sobrang nagiging toxic na yung isang bagay, mm. um, iniiwasan ko na lang. Like, mm. Siyempre sa social media, hindi naman din maiwasan yung ganyang toxicity. Mm. Um, sometimes I tend to turn it off para naging offline ako for a while. Ganun. Kasi siyempre, minsan you have to let things off of your head na mm. nakaka, yun, syem, sakit sa ulo. Ganun. Mm. Tapos minsan din, um, kumakausap ako ng... Um, Uh, trustworthy na friend or syempre sa parents ko rin, especially mm. sa mom ko. Mm. Ako yung mahalaga rin po talaga na makapag-usap ka sa magulang mo kasi mm. sa ngayon po kasi, kumbaga, dumidepende na sa kung sino yung kausap mo sa technology, oh. sa messenger, sa mga kaibigan, which is hindi tama kasi mas maraming alam yung magulang mo kaysa sa kanila. Mm. Kaso nga lang, yun din yung problema ngayon sa Gen Z. Mm. Hindi ganoon nagtitiwala sa magulang, kumbaga mas dumidepende sa kaibigan. Uh, mm-hmm. Kasi case-to-case basis mm-hmm. naman din, no? Dahil mm-hmm. may iba, of course, there are those na blessed with mm-hmm. uh, set of parents na talagang mab- madali yung pakikipag-usap. But there are also those na, syempre, uh, for some reason, probably na hindi din nakapag-establish ng ganong relationship. So do you think, um, yon sa ganon na, uh, in terms of communication, pag ba, kunyari may nagsabi sa inyo sa Gen Z na, um, ano, uh, yung, ano, wag mo lang masyado isipin yan. Kasi ba usually gano'n yung sinasabi? Pag negative yung bagay na narinig or nabasa, mm. ano, um, maliit na bagay lang yan or wag mo masyado isipin, mm. ganyan. Uh, nakakatulong ba yun na para kapag mas narinig nyo siya na sabihan kayo ng gano'n? Uh, tingin po, tingin ko po hindi po siya nakatulong kasi parang yung look na hurt na po yung tao. So pag sinabihan po ng ganun, parang nai-invalidate po yung feelings niya. So yun, kapag nai-invalidate po kasi parang iba na po yung parang, parang nagiging tingin na parang hindi naman pala ako naiintindihan nito eh. So bakit ako makikinig sa kanya? So yung parang kailangan po muna is binavalidate po yung feelings sa parang ako oh, parang yung comfort po ganun. Tapos kapag pag alam naman po ng tao na hindi niya kaya yung comfort, edi parang i- in mag- mag suggest niya po sa parang makaka-comfort ko niya or parang psychiatrist or psychologist parang ganun pas mga ganun po na may mas wisdom ah oh, oh. sure. Darwin ay uh, Ruben <laughs> um, in relation po dun um, i-share ko na lang din po kasi yung yung isa ko po kasi yung friend nagka-open up po kami kapag walang ginagawa ayun so hanggang sa napunta po kami sa usapan na depression anxiety mm. ganun and then siya po kasi is nakaranas na rin po siyang ma-depress, ma-anxiety, or ma-feel niya po na sobrang down siya, na sobrang walang kwenta niyang tao, ganun. Mm-hmm. And then, ang tinanong ko po sa kanya, oh, bakit hindi ka nakipag-usap sa magulang mo? Kasi, syempre, mahalaga rin na makipag-usap ka sa magulang mo. And then, ang sabi niya po kasi, yung sabi po kasi ng magulang niya, yung nung hindi niya pa po sinasabi, ang sabi po ng magulang niya, yung depression ay anxiety, mga baliw lang yan eh. Mm. Kaya from that word or from those words, mm. doon niya na-realize na parang, bakit ko kakausapin to? Eh, hindi niya naman naiintindihan ko ano yung naramdaman ko. Mm-hmm. So, yun yung parang example nung sinasabi po ni Edel kanina. Mm. Na nagkaroon na, na-invalidate yung feelings. Uh, feelings. Kaya more on sa friend siya nagsasabi. Ayun mm. po. Okay. These are real issues. Oh, no, Gabi. Darwin, mo kamusta? Darwin, napasay Darwin. Darwin, kasama ka. Parang, hindi, babunod kay. Ay, text. Oh, okay, sorry. Parang pwede natin i-relate doon. Hindi, gusto ko bumunod si Darwin. Matagal niyang i- Hindi, baka itong time na ito. Wait lang po, pa. Oh, hindi. Hindi. Hindi na ba yung question? Bakit? Define love lang naman. Ang hirap na ito. Okay, so... Ito po, yung nabunod ko po is, who are your life influencers? Mm. Ah. And why? Mag-isa mga millennials, Lodi o kaya ano. Oh. 
Wala ba? Like, puro mm. band, gano'n? <laughs> para po sa akin, hindi po parang isang specific na tao yung nakapag-influence sa akin as mm. an individual. Para po sa akin, ang pinakamalaking influence po sa buhay ko is yung church, mm. yung eklesia. Uh, ano po eh, kasi lumaki ako sa church, dito mm. po ako natuto. Parang lahat ng principles na sinusundan ko, lahat ng practices, Uh, binibase ko sa kung ano man yung truth na galing sa salita ng Diyos. And yun po, yun po yung pinaka nakapag-influence sa akin. Mm. Amen. How, how do you use yung, uh, yung faith, faith natin, faith ninyo, yung church, yung ministries, sa ano, pakisalamuhan nyo sa, sa labas? Uh, maybe otherwise. Yun po, pinagagamit po yung faith namin, kunyari sa mga, kunyari magde-decide po, kunyari mm. sa mga issues po, kunyari yung mga LGBTQ, ganon, mm. na parang maano po yung, re, ano po sa faith na, kasi di ba po parang yung, ano, yung generation po, and parang more of liberal, ganon, mm. which is parang contradicting po sa ano po natin, sa faith po natin. So yun, parang gagamit po yung reason and logic, parang i uh, parang hindi naman po atakihin, pero parang ika-counter Ika-counter po yung mga reasons nila, mm. gamit po yung faith and yung reason and yung mm. logic. Mm-hmm. CJ, yung involvement sa ministries, uh, how, how important is it for for ge- Generation Z? Uh, especially as you, you know, grow up mm. and mature and face life. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, face issues. So, <laughs> sa akin kasi, um, once na nasa isang ministry ka, syempre, nagde-develop yung ibang skills mo. Like, um, sabihin natin, leadership, ganon or yung passion mo sa isang bagay na sabi natin yung sa um, orchestra sa music ministry mm. ganun um kasi may mga iba akong kilala na nasa um, orchestra na um, naging interesado lang sila kasi um, once they start to learn that uh, certain instrument tapos um, they play it they play it sa mga uh, services ganun mm. um parang nagkita nila as uh, so parang ganito pala yun so Sobrang fulfilling ganun, yung ganun. Kasi at least kahit sa mga ganong ministries, may kita mo yung true passion mo talaga. Hmm. And I think that's beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> 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 Ayan. So, well, napakaganda sana. No. Marami pa tayong pwede pag-usapan. Actually, no? dapat yung episode na ito hanggang 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Gen Z itong usapan natin. Kaso 15 minutes na tayo. Pero I think may magkakaroon tayong part 2 and part 3. Oh, oh. Beautiful, yeah. yeah. Yes, and of course, thank you very much for being open and being honest sa mga issues na to. Of course, um, magkaiba eh. Kasi kunyari sa amin sa millennials, iba din naman yung set of issues. Hmm. And of course, sa uh, Gen Z din. At napakaganda that we have this, these kinds of um, conversations na, yun nga, nakakapakinig tayo. Yun nga, yung in terms of uh, emotion, hmm. alam mo yun, in terms of the, yung the feelings that our kids have, or hindi na, hindi na nga kids eh, uh, those Uh, really do not have to be invalidated. Pero mm. paano mo nga naman yun, uh, paano ba natin siya mas maayos na may address in accordance to God's Word? Mm. So, yun yung mga bagay na maganda. Sana na masimulan natin um, yung mga ganitong conversations. Kung hindi man kaya with the parent, mm. uh, sana sam- with someone na mas matanda or mm. alam mo yun, with, with more wisdom para, syempre, um, yun, nakakapag-gain tayo ng learning. Kasi kahit ako ngayon, ang dami kong mga, ngayon ko lang na-realize na, uy, ganun pala yun. So, it's very important that we have this, uh, yun, mga ganitong conversations. Mga ano mas ko na yung Yeah, we can have all this uh, conversation. Pero I think, yeah, yung call to action, yung reminders for, for the older generation mm-hmm. to guide and reach out um, yeah. to the younger generation. So, uh, nandun naman siya. And I think I'm, I'm reminded din of um, the, the verse, uh, di ba, that Um, let let no man despise um, the yeah, youth. Be the thou an example, example of the believers in conversation, in in word, in spirit, in faith, in, in purity. Mm-hmm. So thank you very much uh, for your time, uh, yeah. for joining us here to express yourself <laughs> sa Lighthouse Cafe. At the end, puso puso. At uh, for more on uh, biblical principles, samahan po natin si Bishop Ruben sa Hebrews. Welcome sa ating Hebrews. Ito ang segment sa ating 
Lighthouse Cafe na naglalayon po na bigyang daan ang ilang mga bagay mula sa banda na kasulatan na may kinalaman sa mga pinag-uusapan po natin ngayon. Like for example, sa episode na ito ay pinag-uusapan natin ang tinatawag na Generation Z. Ano ba itong Generation Z? Well, definitely ito, gener hindi ito po Generation X at hindi ito yung millennium, Millennials. Ano? Well, anyway, uh, I was told na ang Generation Z would be those who were born from about mid Uh, 1990s, ano po, 1995, 96, hanggang 2010. Yung span po ito, na, yung span na ito, yan ang mga taon o yung period na kung saan naging masyadong ma mabilis ang pagpasok ng technology. At ang lahat ang maaaring i-offer ng mundo para maging mas konbinyente po ang buhay ng tao, mas naging nakakaangat ang estado ng tao, kaya po pati sa mga transportation, sa communication, lahat po ng maaaring ibigay sa kombinyente at kapakanan ng tao ay naririyan. Kaya ang pinakanakinabang po sa mga bagay na ito ay ang mga Generation Z. Now, while uh, napakaganda naman na isipin na meron silang ganong pwedeng ma-enjoy, but then ang naging impact po niyan ay ang kanilang pagtitiwala ay nauwi na lang sa mga ino-offer na mga bagay na ito. And of course, these are temporal things. These are things that are very material. And however po na ang technology, like for example, yung mga cellphones, pag meron kang cellphone, dalawang taon, tatlong taon, matanda na yan, nagbabago na. So, wala pong pangmatagalang pinanghahawakan. Okay? But that's technology. Gayun din po ang bali na na sinandalan ng Generation Z. Kung baga, yung nagbibigay po sa kanila ng katatagan at kaaliwan sa buhay ay naging napaka, uh, anong tawag dyan, no? yung, yung uh, mabuhay, no? hindi po permanente. Now, it's a matter of where we place ourselves. At ang banal kasulatan ay nagsasabi ng mga bagay na where we should delight ourselves. Convenience is good. Sapagkat ito ang nabibigay po sa atin ng comfort sa ating buhay, ng maraming gusto natin. But then, if we become too comfortable in things that are not permanent, ay hindi rin po maigi. Kaya, a lot of Generation Z ng mga young people ay nakakaroon po ng depressions. Naiiwan sila sa kanila mga sarili and they look for answers at wala sila makuha sa iba. Because yun na nga po, umaasa sila sa mga temporal na mga bagay. The Word of God gives a good number of verses tungkol sa what gives us delight. For example, ang sinasabi po doon sa Psalm 119 and verse 11, ang sabi, Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. Now, ang, sabal, ang salita po ng Diyos, ang banda na kasulatan, ay hindi lang po bagay na naglalayo sa kasananan. But when we put ourselves in having delight in the Word of God, ay napakaganda po. For example, sa Psalm number 1, ang sinasabi, uh, His delight is in the law of the Lord, and in His law doth He meditate day and night. Ang sabi doon sa Psalm 37 and verse 4, Delight thyself also in the Lord. Ang sabi sa Psalm 40 and verse 8, I delight to do thy will, O my God. In Psalm 22 and verse 8, He that trusted in the Lord that he would, he would deliver him, let him deliver him, seeing he delighteth in him. Kung kaya nga po, ang segment pong ito'y naglalayo na tingnan, ma-realize ng ating mga generations. We might You know, we might have all the convenience and all the gadgets and all the digital technologies we have. But hey, tignan po natin kung saan natin inilalagay at in-establish ang mga bagay na nagbibigay ng delight po sa atin. Don't forget God. Siya ay permanente. Okay? Siya ay immutable. He does not change. He does not go with uh, technologies. He is God. Go, with, go to His Word. Hindi rin po nagbabago ang kanyang salita. Okay? Go to His very attribute, sapagkat hindi nagbabago ang attribute ng Panginoon. Huwag din kalilimutan. Ang Panginoon po, hindi nagbabago ng kanyang pag-ibig sa atin. He may change, 
in how he deals with us, but he does not change his will for us. Keep that in mind. Delight in God, delight in his word, delight in his will. God bless you. Magandang araw po at welcome po sa Barista, ang segment po dito sa Lighthouse Cafe kung saan tinutugunan po namin ang inyong mga legal na katanungan. At uh, sa kabila po ng Enhanced Community Quarantine, tayo po ay uh, pinagpala na tayo ay may ibang means upang tayo po ay makatugon pa rin sa mga katanungan ng mga tao. Ngayon po ay meron tayo isang liham mula kay Joyce. Pakinggan po natin ito. Salamat Joyce sa iyong katanungan. No? Uh, maraming tao talaga ang nagtatanong kung ano ba itong social amelioration program at kung paano ba ito ini-implement. Uh, ito ay bunsod ng uh, Bayanihan Heal as One Act. Ito ay naglalayon na magbigay ng uh, tulong, uh, ng suporta uh, sa pamamagitan ng pinansyal na uh, aspeto sa ating mga kababayan. At of course, ang target ng ating gobyerno ay mabigyan yung mga tinatawag natin na mga marginalized, yung mga vulnerable sectors of our society. And uh, mag- maganda yung tanong mo, no? ano ba yung kinakapalooban nitong buong social amelioration program at paano ba ito i-implement? And of course, uh, nag-issue ng joint memorandum yung uh, interagency task force, uh, that was joint memorandum circular number one. Series of 2020 kung yan ay gusto mong tingnan and nag uh, issue din ang di, ng ang Department of Social Welfare and um, Department of Social Welfare and Development ang sarili nilang guidelines uh, ukol dito sa uh, social amelioration program. So ito ay i-roll out sa pamamagitan ng mga local government units. So uh, ito ay i-roll out sa mga probinsya, sa mga munisipyo, sa mga siyudad. Uh, pababa sa mga barangay. At uh, as you know, ang DSWD uh, is the social welfare arm ng ating gobyerno. So ito ang magpapatupad talaga. Ang pondo ay nasa DSWD, pero sa pakikipagtulungan sa ating mga local government units, sa mga local chief executives, ay dito natin makuha or dito i-verify yung mga listahan. And of course, uh, ang, ang tanong, magkano ba yung amount? Ang nasabi dun sa Bayanihan to Heal as One Act ay between 5,000 to 8,000. And according to the implementing guidelines, ang pamamaraan kung paano ito actually na i-roll out ay sa pamagitan ng uh, yung minimum wage sa bawat area. So for example, sa NCR, dahil meron tayong minimum wage uh, amounting to uh, 500, I think 537 ang ating minimum wage, tayo yung pinakamataas. So ang threshold amount ay nasa maximum which is at 8,000 pesos. Ngayon, may iba-ibang programa under sa uh, social amelioration program. Pero unahin muna natin kung ano yung mga magiging uh, parameters kung paano ito ibibigay. Ang sabi ng, uh, ng Joint Memorandum Circular ay ito ay i-roll out um, in partnership with the local government units. Ibig sabihin, uh, sila magpo-provide ng manpower na ang mga barangay ang siyang pupunta sa bawat area upang ang lahat ay makapag-fill out ng tinatawag natin na social amelioration card. So sa pamamagitan nito ay doon i-verify ng DSWD ang pangangailangan ng bawat pamilya sapagkat ang target ng DSWD ay makapag-provide ng uh, amelioration or ng funding for 18 million households. So ito ay per family, it's not per individual. Ito ay hiwalay uh, dun, sa, dun sa camp na uh, ini-implement naman ng DOL. Iba rin to sa iba pa po mga programa na ini-implement ng, uh, for example, ng DTI at ng DBM. So, ito ay solely um, funding for uh, each household. At uh, ang, ang kinapapaloban na ito ay food and non-food items. Uh, feeding program and of course yung in cash, ito yung tinatawag natin na um, assistance in crisis situation na AICS, uh, ito ay funding uh, na minimum ng 3,000 pesos to a maximum of 5,000 pesos. 
So, ito ay lahat dadaan sa mga barangay. So, very important that you, what you actually do is to actually uh, get in communication with, for, for barangays kasi you would have either barangay coordinators or purok leaders. So, importante po na kayo ay pumunta sa mga representatives na ito. Alamin niyo po paano nila i-roll out yung uh, kung paano kayo makakuha na itong tinatawag na uh, social amelioration card at uh, Pagkatapos po itong reviewin ng DSWD, doon po yan. No? Ang, ang identified po, ang importante na malaman natin, ano po ba yung mga identified natin na mga ano. So, yung sa dole before na tulong nila na 5,000 pesos, yun ay para sa tinatawag natin na mga formal workers. So, dito naman po, ang tinitingnan na matulungan dito ay mga non-formal workers. So, dito po... Um, According po dito sa Joint Memorandum Circular at doon din naman sa um, doon sa DSWD. So, yung AICS pala is assistance to individuals in crisis situation. So, ito ay 3,000 pesos to 5,000 pesos per household. At kasama din dito yung burial assistance in the maximum of amount of 25,000 pesos. So, sino po ba ang mga target beneficiaries netong um itong programang ito. First, ang target beneficiaries nito of course would be households na merong identified na either senior citizen, persons with disability, pregnant and lactating women, solo parents, uh, kasama dito yung mga overseas Filipinos in distress. Uh, ito yung mga tinatawag natin ng mga uh, overseas Filipino workers who were repatriated or banned from traveling outside the Philippines on account of COVID-19. Of course, nandito rin yung mga tinatawag nating IP or indigenous peoples uh, the underprivileged se uh, sector, uh, which is mainly yung mga homeless, uh, yung ating mga informal economy workers. So, dito pumapasok yung mga uh, directly hired occasional workers, seasonal workers, subcontracted workers, dito pumapasok yung mga home workers o yung mga katulong natin, house helpers, uh, mga drivers ng pedicab, tricycles, PUJs, UVs, uh, PUVs, PUBs, taxis. Uh, dito rin pumapasok yung mga TNVS. Uh, pumapasok din dito yung mga micro-entrepreneurs, of course, yung mga sari-sari store owners who on account of COVID-19 uh, cannot operate dahil sa closure. Family enterprise owners, sub-minimum wage earners, farmers, fisher folks, employees affected by no work, no pay, pero hindi yung nasa formal sector. Ibig sabihin, hindi sila na naging covered nung dole uh, camp yung COVID-19 Adjusted Measure Program ng, ng uh, Department of La uh, Labor and Employment. And of course, yung mga stranded workers. So, if you feel like you are part of this or your household has several na mga uh, tao na either informal workers or yan nga mga seasonal workers or OFWs in distress or uh, meron kayong senior citizen, meron kayong PWD, meron kayong solo parent, meron kayong pregnant or lactating um, mom sa, sa loob ng inyong household, it's best that you coordinate, you get in touch with your um, barangay coordinator or your barangay um, purok leader and ask them how you can secure a social amelioration card. And by doing that, uh, kayo ay magiging bahagi, ire-review yan ng um, DSWD and if you are eligible, uh, Yan, i-roll out yung ano. Uh, kung paano yung distribution ng fund, it could be either they would uh, put in uh, mga places where they could distribute the money or they would do it door to door. So, depende po yan. May discretion ng mga LGUs to be able to do that. So, kung meron pa po kayong mga dagdag na katanungan, uh, maaari lang po kayong magpadala ng inyong mga liham or mag-leave ng message sa aming Facebook group. So, maraming maraming salamat, Joy, sa iyong liham. Sana yung natugunan namin yan. Kung kayo po ay may mga katanungan, mari lang po kayong magpadala ng inyong mga liham uh, email sa goodtalks at lighthousecafetv.com Ganyan din po, eh, pwede nyo pong isearch ang aming Facebook page, Lighthouse Cafe, at pwede po kayong mag-leave ng message doon. Maraming 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 salamat po. Muli, ito po si Attorney Moses Rivera at your service.
At natapos na naman ang isang oras ng magagandang kwentuhan, mga pag-uusap, na palagay po natin naging kapaki-pakinabang sa inyong lahat. We hope you enjoyed all our discussions today. And you can watch our replay of our episode today sa aming Lighthouse Spectrum mobile app. Download this app from the App Store or Google Play Store. Maaari rin kayong manood sa aming Lighthouse BBC YouTube channel and be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And we would also like to thank our ministry partners and sponsors who have faithfully supported our various shows and production. Maraming salamat po sa Four Gospel Catering Services, Haircutters Republic, Miami Cakes, and the Lighthouse Blooms Flower Shop. At maraming salamat din po sa ating mga individual sponsors who continue to partner with us. You can also be our ministry partner. Just send a message to our official Facebook page, Lighthouse Cafe. And so catch another episode next week, only here at the Lighthouse Cafe, where, where good talks happen. happen.